So now we're gonna start preparing the filling for the vegetable and chicken spring rolls. First of all, we're gonna add half a cup of oil. One tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. 850 grams of chicken mince. It needs to be washed and dried so when it goes into the oil it doesn't splash everywhere. So now we're gonna stir fry this until the color is changed. Keep stir frying this until all the water has evaporated. We're gonna start adding our spices. So first we have turmeric powder, chili powder, chili flakes, coriander and cumin powder, salt, soy sauce, two to be spreading sriracha sauce, but if you can't find any, you can use any other chili sauce that you have at home. We're gonna start adding the vegetables. We're adding 200 grams of each vegetables, but you can add more or less. And you can substitute the vegetables for anything you like. But first, we have carrots. 200 grams of cabbage. 200 grams of sweet corn. 200 grams of peppers. Spring onions. Now we're adding coriander leaves and mint leaves. So now our colorful filling is ready. We're gonna let this cool down. Over here we have spring roll pastry. And inside of that, we're gonna add this. It basically has everything in there. Filling. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna add the filling onto the dough. Dough. So let's get stuck. Let's open. Last year, Let's open. Last year, I tried. And let me try. I like to fill them. Totally forgot how to cover them. It looks like it looks like blue. It's just flower and water. Yeah, it's still blue. Yeah. Here is our first spring <laughs> roll. <laughs> not so bad, but not oh. so good. And Sarah and Zarish will take over. So first, you put some of this here. So, this. You like more? Yeah. It's you. Like yeah. Now Zarish is gonna make one. She's a professional. <laughs> no, you know. What's your favorite vegetable? Carrot. You know the next step? Thoda sour. Like this. Okay. Ab usko le kya? Only do at the top. Yeah. Thoda, thoda, thoda. Isse ye itna bhig gaya to ye fir idhar hi toot jayega. Very good. Very nice. Want one more now? You know. My <laughs> mom is gonna try doing it. Like fold it in a different Mama's. way. I think so, like this. And we look. Yeah, we go. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the sticky part. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it. Oh, it? Go, Sarish. And from this side. Yeah, well done. It's a long one. <laughs> Size. This one's getting short. How does this taste like? You should just do it. It's blue. It's literally blue. Look at the design I made on mine. Mm -hmm. I know I'm a professional, so I made a design. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm not professional. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I don't know.
<laughs> you stop. What are you even doing? Is this meant to be Zion? Yeah. Nothing. And what are these? I'll make this They look stuff. like onions. The, what? Yeah. How, does that, how does that look like onions? <laughs> like, onions. you know the onion, like the top part? We will do Disney match for <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And to that. With me, heart like you, me type set. Hello, Piara. Okay. So for the baklava, we're going to first prepare the sugar syrup. For this, we're going to need two cups of sugar. It looks like a lot of sugar right now, like it's a huge pile. But we're making the classical baklava, so we're going to need a large amount. Next, we're going to add one and a half cups of water. Now we're going to add a few drops of lemon. Stir the sugar, water, and lemon at medium-high heat until the sugar dissolves in the water. And let the syrup boil for about 5 minutes and then you're going to check on it. If it needs more boiling, then you can do that. Our hours is done now. I'm going to take it off the stove and wait for it to become lukewarm. That's when we can start using it. So now we're going to prepare the nuts for the layering. Since we're making the traditional type of baklava, we're going to be using pistachio kernels. But they're not the cheapest thing to buy at your local shop. So you can also use walnuts or pecans. Because we're going to be using these spring roll pastry sheets, they stick together easily. So we're going to be using butter ghee to make sure they don't stick together once we layer it. So our pistachios are all chopped. We used a chopper to chop some and we just cut some up. You can cut them however you want. You can cut them chunky, big, or you can totally mush them into powder. So now that everything is ready, we're going to start layering. Firstly, we're going to add a layer of butter ghee. And then butter again. We're using 40 sheets, so we're going to keep doing this for 20 layers. And then we're going to add the pistachios and then another 20 sheets. Now we're going to add the pistachio. And we're going to start layering the rest of the sheets on top. is near school. I'm gonna bake this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Now we're gonna add the sweet syrup that we prepared earlier. We're gonna wait for the baklava to absorb the syrup. Then you can eat it like that, or you can just eat it now with the syrup like everywhere. But no. that's not very good. That's why mm. you can taste it more. We're making chicken burrata roll and for this first of all we're going to add a little bit of oil in our frying pan. Now we're adding 800 grams of chicken. This is boneless and chopped into little pieces. We're adding a tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. 
so we've stir fried the chicken and now that the color is not pink anymore it's like white we're gonna start adding the spices first we have turmeric powder next we have chili powder chili flakes not for cooking cumin and coriander powder and salt we added about half a tablespoon of each spice but you can add it according to your taste we're also adding lemon and herb peri peri rub hot peri peri rub now we're adding dark soy sauce chopped tomatoes that were in a tin but you can also use fresh tomatoes now we're adding three tablespoons of yogurt okay. chef zarish has joined us <laughs> she tried to cut her own bangs no i did not oh really really no, no, no. where did that come from <laughs> she got two cuts on her finger though she changes her plaster every five minutes <laughs> no i put another one on just so the other one won't fall off. Oh. We're done adding all the spices. Now we're gonna add a lid to our pan and we're gonna let the water like dry up until it's like paste. So the chicken is nearly ready. When it starts to release oil, that's when it's completely ready. Now we're gonna make our own sauce for the chicken paratha roll. Kind of like a mayonnaise vegetable dip, but it's like sauce. So for this we have cucumbers, carrots, corn. What you have in your house? Yeah, chop it up into small pieces and put them in a bowl. And now we're gonna add some sauces that we have at our house. So you can use any sauce that you like. First of all, we're adding mayonnaise. <laughs> Yogurt and mint sauce, garlic mayo, this burger sauce we found. Yummy. Oh, oh, little, little, little. No. Mix all this up. We are going to fry some parathas. These are frozen ones. Usually we make the homemade ones, but today we felt like, nah. Zarya is going to make a paratha roll so we can show you guys how to make it too. Now we're making pineapple milkshake, so we're going to be using pineapple slices and juice. 